KPI X finds Katie Nielsen live in Alameda with how those neighbors are rallying around this family. Katie? Yeah, Alan, Frederick Alexander said he found that damage on Sunday morning, and within a couple of hours, dozens of neighbors showed up to help those younger ones, writing messages of love and support in chalk. All that chalk still completely covers the sidewalk in front of his home. Others went to work cleaning up his cars. I'm so sorry. Frederick Alexander says he and his family have lived in this home at Mound Street and Otis Drive in Alameda for the past 12 years. I am the only black neighbor on this block. His wife woke him up Sunday morning and told him someone had vandalized their cars overnight. Cars parked on the street right in front of their house. It was spray painted ALM. Uh, which uh, everyone knows it's, it pretty much stand, all lives matter. Frederick says he can't understand why anyone would direct such a hurtful message at him or his family. I, I ask myself why as well. I, I, I don't have an answer. He says there is no question in his mind this was a hate crime. But instead of focusing on that, he wants to focus on what happened later that day. I cannot describe to you the outpouring. of love from this community. A neighbor who runs an auto body shop brought over supplies to remove the spray paint from Frederick's cars as others decorated his sidewalks in colorful chalk messages of love. It was, it was just overwhelming. It was literally overwhelming. A lot of people showed up just to show uh, the family that the Alameda community doesn't stand for this and that we are here to support them. Once we realized people were coming over, we decided, you know, maybe we can come over too and, and help out. It was kind of nice just to see it turn into like more of a community thing. What someone meant as a harmful and hurtful act, you know, God turned it into a beautiful outpouring of love. Alameda police say they are investigating this incident as well as one other this weekend where another car was also found vandalized just a couple of blocks away. So far, there are no suspects in this case and police have not made any arrests. Alan? Now, Katie, because of this, now we're hearing about, about donations? Right, Alan. So there's a GoFundMe page that some of the neighbors set up to help repaint Frederick's cars. They were hoping for $10,000, but that GoFundMe page right now at about almost $16,000 in donations. Wow. Frederick says whatever he doesn't need to repair his cars, he's going to donate to projects that promote racial equality. Fantastic support. Katie Nielsen in Alameda, thank you so much.